Good evening, everybody, and welcome inside First Interstate Arena at Metro Park. 2,900 fans are on hand for tonight's rivalry doubleheader between Class A Harden and Class B Lodgegrass. The Harden girls are the Class A defending co-champions, but head coach Cindy Farmer has plenty of new faces in the rotation. Bulldogs out and running early. Alyssa Pretty Weasel gets the steal and she takes it coast to coast for the bucket. But Lodgegrass hanging around. Jordan Jefferson in her bag here with the step back triple. And then Harden goes to the two-man game. Pick and roll and a slick pocket pass by Brianna Old Elk to set up the bucket and extend the Harden lead. Lodgegrass then in transition. Chantel pretty on top, kicks it out to Diamond Amayette who knocks it down from deep. But Class A Harden was overwhelming tonight. Camber, good luck, knocks down the corner triple as the Bulldogs cruise past Lodgegrass. Both the Harden and Lodgegrass boys were crowned co-champions last season. Harden had some serious roster turnover at the top, while Lodgegrass returns a ton of pieces. Harden's Kevion Ladson gets the Bulldogs going early, cleaning up the miss and getting the putback to go. Then Lodgegrass's Damon Grovon. Everybody get up as Grovon hammers it home. Ladson showing some of the acrobatics. The reverse layup avoids the trees inside and a little English gets it to fall. And then Grovon in transition, muscles it up and in for the bucket and the foul. The ball on the floor and DC Stewart grabs it, finds Grovon who scores to hit the 1,000 point mark in his career. The junior is a walking bucket for the Indians and will add plenty to that total over the next two years. Second half, Harden leading. Lodgegrass's Kendall Russell gets the shooter's roll on the corner triple to pull the Indians within six. Bulldogs locking up on defense though. Grovon turned over by Hans Three Irons who takes it all the way himself. And Harden wins the battle of defending champions. Grovon had 23 to lead all scorers in the losing effort and his career point total stands at 1,016. It means a lot, you know, having my name up there with some of the greats at 1,000 and it was just a dream come true ever since I was younger. Damon is is, is um, just a, every every coach's dream, you know, and he's he, number one because he loves his brothers and he wants to get them involved. He wants to build them, make them better. And he just works extremely hard. He buys in, does everything that's asked of him, and then he goes the extra mile. So for something like that to happen to him, I'm just, just uh, happy for him. Individual accolades are the last thing on Grovon's mind, but he'll have a legitimate chance next year at breaking Lodgegrass legend Elvis Old Bull's school record of 1,984 points. For him to go that hard and, and them to have his back, they know that it opens up things for them too, uh, opportunities for them, and, and they know that um, if they support him, things open up for them because he's, he's a gifted athlete, he's a gifted ball player, and he just wants it more than anybody, I feel like, you know, and so... Um, the teammate, they understand that, and then it builds, it, it's filled to their drive, and then they want it too. They want it just as bad, and, and it, it's just a domino effect uh, of goodness on the team. As for the defending Class B champs, they can turn on the film and learn from Wednesday night's loss to Harden. The Bulldogs have turned into one of the best Class A programs in the state. We know it's a growth game, and I like to say that because it's not our mountaintop. For years, it used to be the one game everyone focused on, and it's great. It's a great rivalry, but we still want them to succeed on that level. They're still um, of Salaga or Crow, just like we are. There are relatives over there, and we want them to succeed. And we want to make them better, and, and they make us better for sure. Um, so, so we want to make sure that we, we understand how they built theirs, their program, just by playing the right way, playing physical, and um, keeping their composure. I feel like we didn't do that. So there's some things that I know we can take from it. Grovon and the Indians are back in action on Thursday at Lame Deer. Harden will play Saturday against Laurel. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.